From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a major night here on Evenings LA as a lot of breaking news is coming in. And of course, those incredible stimulus checks over this broadcast. We'll be going over these massive stimulus checks with the been law since the month of March. $300,000, 18 months, $3,000 of checks a month. Five checks a month on average is what viewers are getting. The first of the breaking news tonight, Egg Eggnogolus. Uh, the markets ended the week and they were not particularly good. We'll go over why the market tumbled on Friday and it ended the worst week since the month of September. PPI, PPU. Because <laughs> the producer price index was released on Friday and what did it show? It showed inflation was going higher. That's causing new concern today that Taming Jamie may have to take us into 2024. Yes, Taming Inflation with j Powell, Taming Jamie may take us longer than initially thought. Wow, that's why I have to get all these incredible stimulus checks. Over this broadcast, we have massive stimulus checks to go with over with you. $300,000 of stimulus checks that became stimulus check law in March. Viewers have been getting these stimulus checks since March. And how many checks? 18 months of monthly stimulus checks, MSCs. About five stimulus checks per month. And about $3,000 of stimulus checks per month, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits. I'll show you how to get these incredible checks over this broadcast. They're not from your state, number one. Number two, you gotta move really quickly because that financial cliff is right around the corner. They're not for any particular group, number three and you need to apply. We're going to go over these incredible checks in tonight's recording. But we also have a lot of other breaking news we're working on as well. Santa Baby CPI. <laughs> Will it be a baby of a CPI or a monster of a CPI? That consumer price index that gauges inflation, the most important data point of the entire month is released on Monday. On Tuesday, Jay Powell reacts to the news with the inflationary gauge of that FOMC meeting. What a big night that will be. And cuff it tonight. We'll be covering it tonight, will we? Yes, we will be covering it tonight. We will be looking at... <laughs> yeah, Beyonce got into the show. I don't know. Uh, we will be covering it tonight. <laughs> yes, we will be looking at the sentiment of consumers from the depart from the Michigan report that was released overnight. And then, downward dog, upward dog. Lulamon missed dramatically on those earnings. Uh, uh, so many uh, other earnings coming in next week. We'll have the latest details across the board. But the big news is that $300,000 of stimulus checks, $3,000 a month, five checks per month, 18 months of stimulus checks heat up this broadcast. I'm going to show you how to get these incredible sh monies in tonight's show. It's a big show. I think it's one of our best shows on a weekend in a long time. Your benefit will raise your housing market. Your fourth stimulus, that and more, the breaking news from the shores of Santa Monica, California, heat up right now on a big, bold, beautiful evenings out late, starting right now. Good evening, everybody. We have a big show tonight. I think it's one of our best shows in a while on the weekend. And this is not rehash news. This is actually all breaking news tonight. We'll go over the latest details on where this economy is, where it's going, and so much at issue. But first, of course, those massive stimulus checks. How many? $300,000 of stimulus checks. Incredible. I'm going to show you how to get these $300,000 of stimulus checks over this broadcast. They're for you. On average, viewers are getting 18 months of monthly stimulus checks, MSCs. And on a monthly basis, there are about five stimulus checks per month, about $3,000. We'll show you how to get these if you're on SSI and SSDI as well. They're everywhere, and they heat up this incredible broadcast. What's important to remember is that you need to apply. You must move fast. They are not from your state. They are from the federal government. I'm going to show you how to get these incredible checks in just a second. They're big sums of money. And what's important about these sums of money is that viewers have been getting them since March. They're getting them last month. And once you're approved, they're automatic. That's yes, that's right. Once you're approved, they're automatic. 
They're going to be coming the next month as well. For viewers on this channel, they came in November. Now they're coming in December. I'm going to go over the latest details on those in just a second. But first, let's go into the breaking news tonight. Eggnocolis. <laughs> Eggnocolis. Yes, uh, the markets tumbled on Friday as they were um, not feeling any spike in their eggnog. <laughs> on Friday, the Dow was down 300 points, the worst week for the Dow Jones and stocks since the month of September. Oh, baby, that's a big one. Watch that. September to December, the market was up 10 to 20%. It was a big rally. And we all wondered, could it go any higher? It didn't. So it posted the worst week since September. That was on Friday. The Dow was down 300 points on Friday. That's 1%. The NASDAQ was down about 1% as well. On a weekly basis, the Dow was down 3%. Ouch. That's not particularly good. Why did the market go down in the egg less details tonight? PPI, PPU. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it went down my ppi your ppi pp me ppu yeah it's because of the ppi the wholesale price consumers numbers were released on friday and you may think that's not for me it is for you because why is the ppi indicate important for you because the cpi is being released on monday the ppi showed that inflation went up a lot it went up 0.3 percent for the month 7.4 per the year and this is higher than Wall Street expecting. They were only expecting a 0.2% gain, gain on a monthly basis. And when you exclude food and energy, the core PPI was up 0.4 compared to an estimate or projection of 0.2 and up 6.2% compared to last year. Not much of an improvement compared to the month of October on which we we're up 6.6. Folks, 6% 6 up on PPI is not good year to date. Which leads us into Taming Jamie. Do I say that right? Taming Jamie. No, Taming Jamie. Taming Jamie. Uh, j Powell will likely have to tame inflation longer than initially thought because of this inflation data is not going away. Here we go. In 2021, I was the first American broadcast to record the U.S. economy would have 8% inflation. In December 2021. Now we are a year later. And I said in December 2021, Jay Powell and the rest of Wall Street had it wrong. They said it was going to be 2%, 3%, temporary. I said, no, it's going to be 8%. I said, it's not going to be temporary. It's not going to go away. Now, I never said when it's going to go away, but I said it was not temporary. Well, here we are. A year later, all those people got it really wrong telling you it was going to be 2 to 3% inflation. And one month and two months and then it's gone. I said it was 8%. It was. It came in at 8% a year ago this month. And now a year later... It still has really not gone away. Brian Monahan, who is really smart, he's at Bank of America, we use him for his our credit card analysis on this channel, says the following, he's the CEO of Bank of America, and he said this on Friday, our expectations are that inflation is gets in control really at the end of next year to 2024. Who said that first? I did. I said that in February this year. I said inflation is not going to be under control until 2024. That's why when I talk about your lifetime benefits, I say you're going to have to do more raises. This is going to take a little bit longer than people would like. It's not going to be clear overnight. It's going to take a little bit of time for higher short-term rates to come down. Uh, and this is important. Wow. And this is why you have to get all these incredible stimulus checks. Let's look at these big stimulus checks. These big stimulus checks from the federal government. Now, what does that mean? It means the people in Washington, D.C., Congress, the President of the United States, they're for you if you are in America. If you are an American, they are for you. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter at all where you live because it does not come from where you live. It comes from Washington, D.C. to you. So it doesn't matter if you move from Tennessee to Alabama. It's not for you, from your state. It's not from your state. You don't apply for your state. It's not in your state, it's in D.C., and then sent to you. I'm going to go over these federal stimulus checks in this recording. They're big checks. And how did it happen? Back in February of this year, I was the only American broadcast to record the U.S. economy would be going into recession for two years starting in January 2023 and not be finished until 2024. 30 days later, viewers of Shell said, L. Light, you're scaring me. <laughs> and I was, but it was, it was, I had to, I had to tell you the news. And they immediately said, if you are right, then give me some darn stimulus checks. They said, you teach us to be very cautious of our money. Do not be risky. So let's err on caution, they said to me, and you give me some darn stimulus checks right away. And that day we got lucky because that day Joe Biden had signed a series of executive actions which established the first three stimulus checks of these federal 
stimulus checks, FSCs, or as I call Santa stimulus or Christmas stimulus. And these are incredibly great stimulus checks. I have three focuses for you for these stimulus checks. Number one, big stimulus checks. It's going to be a two-year recession. It will not be gone until 2024. So you need tens of thousands of dollars of stimulus checks. The lockdown of COVID, what was that, four months, six months? Well, this is not four or six months. This is two years. That's almost four times the length. You need massive stimulus checks, tens of thousands of dollars. We got them. Number two, I wanted broad eligibility so that you qualify, and you do. There's only two things to consider for qualification, and you already qualify for those two. They are single individual, 75000 or less annual income, you qualify. Marry a couple, 150000 or less annual income, well, you qualify. That's it. There's nothing else to consider. Do not add any other parts of the qualifiers. That's all. It doesn't matter if you rent or you own or if you have children, if you not have children, behind on bills, behind on your bills, uh, on benefits, not on benefits, doesn't matter. It's that easy. Then, number three, I wanted to make sure it's easy for you to get. And so rather than just make a recording, a video recording, I put it for you together in the LA Light newsletter. Where do I apply for these checks, LA? In the newsletter. Where do I apply for them? In the newsletter. Where do I... Uh, stop asking the question. <clears throat> In the newsletter. What is the newsletter? The newsletter is delivered from me to you Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern, and 9 o'clock Central, with or without a New Jersey or Long Island accent. Newsletter. <clears throat> Boston. Newsletter. <laughs> Lada. Yeah, I just I don't know what that type of accent that is. You go down the incredible newsletter, you apply for these incredible checks. We're gonna go over all these incredible checks in just a second, but let's go back into the breaking nose. No, oh, that's horrible. That's that does not even an accent. What is that? <laughs> let's go back into the breaking news. Santa Baby CPI. Well, we already talked about this in some part. Monday, wow. The consumer. Price index, CPI, for the month of November is released on Monday the 13th, and I think it's the 13th, um, and boy, that is a big, big day, because we will see if inflation went higher or went lower. Now, you know, you may be watching this recording because you're smart by now, because you watch me, and you've been learning, and you've been earning, but you're probably saying, wait a second, you know the inflation's up, LA. <laughs> you know the CPI is going to come in and it's going to be up inflation. It's not going to be down inflation. So, wh wh why? This is going to be anticlimactic on Monday. It is going to be anticlimactic. It's rather the reaction by the ridiculous other people, those people on Wall Street. We already know that the CPI, when it's released this next week, is going to be higher. Month to month, it's going to be higher. Year to year, it's going to be higher. It's going to be higher. We had the PPI on Friday, it was higher. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's like saying you're walking into a 1980s New Jersey disco party and everyone's hair is high. And then you say, I was expecting the hair to be lower. No, this is New Jersey in the 1980s. <laughs> Why were you expecting the CPI to come lower on Monday? It's just, yeah, this is not happening. So here's what's important to understand is that uh, the there is likely... No rally. Did I say that right? There's likely no rally next week if the CPI comes in exactly as you as I predict. The CPI is likely to come in showing inflation is still going up. So if inflation's still going up, why is this? And this is all breaking news, folks. I've never had this before on this on this channel. If that CPI comes in <clears throat> showing inflation went up month uh, month to month and week to week, then what happens? to the Santa Claus rally. It may not happen. History shows us that over the last 21 years, this is a quote from Jeffrey Hirsch, a stock trader's almanac released minutes ago, that over the last 21 years, the markets typically trade higher on the 10th trading day of December. And that 10th trading day this year is the 14th of December, the same day the Federal Reserve announces. This uh, Santa Claus rally means that stocks go up starting at the beginning of the Santa Claus rally, which would norm, which would land on December 14th. The problem is that analysts now believe that the that at issue, if that CPI is not a baby but a monster, if the CPI is really higher inflation, which you and I all know it's going to be, then what happens? 
then we may not have a Santa Claus rally this year, which would really be a first time in a many, many, many years because you almost always have a, a Santa Claus rally. Cuff it tonight. Uh, LA, did you really bring Beyonce into tonight's show? <laughs> <laughs> cuff it tonight. Cuff it tonight. You know, just cuff it tonight. Uh, <laughs> cuff it tonight. There is a more positive sentiment among consumers. Really? Maybe because they're dancing on TikTok. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the University of Michigan's consumer sentiment was released on Friday, and it showed consumer confidence rose. Consumer confidence rose. Are they crazy? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it ro consumer confidence rose because they all got their TikTok dance moves down. Yeah, so they're they're all they're all dancing to Beyonce cuff it tonight on TikTok, and so that's why consumer confidence is up because they're just like you know, <laughs> you know how they look on TikTok. They're like, and then they always go to the side and they always go to the right, and then they're like, oh, I just happen to be dancing in the middle of traffic. Uh, yeah, consumer confidence is way up, uh, not because they're confident about the economy; they're confident about their dance moves. <laughs> They always have that look like I'm the best dancer ever on TikTok. No, you're just the same as everyone else. <laughs> oh, did I just say that? I did just say that. I have a little bit, a little bit of blood tonight. Everyone seems to have the same darn dance move on TikTok. Downward dog. So next week will be a big one because we're going to have a lot of corporate earnings next week. But here's an issue. Lululemon reported on Friday that it believes the fourth quarter, which is the end of the year, their stores are not going to bring in good numbers on earnings. And they gave a weak outlook for the fourth quarter for corporate earnings for Lululemon, the yoga stretch. Well, it ain't going to stretch. It's going to be a downward dog. This is a view of a big week coming up with the CPI and the Federal Reserve. And I'll be going over those companies reporting corporate earnings as well. Wow. I told you we have a big show tonight. I, this really is a jam-packed show, and we're just getting started. That's why you need to get all these incredible checks. Let's look at some checks right now. The first three FSC checks were passed by Joseph Biden in the month of March, and they're huge. Checks A, B, and C. They're about $100,000. You qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get them. Marry a couple, $150,000 less. Go get them. And if you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children, go get them. If you dance on TikTok, um, just get them, but stay in routine. <laughs> How do you get them? You become a member. Go around this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Hawk, Calcino VIP. What are these checks? Don't worry. I'm going to show you each of these checks one at a time over this broadcast. Then, Congress came along and passed other checks, bringing you to additional hundreds of checks, and those are checks E through K. I'm going to go over those in a second. And I found checks L and M, N and O, P and Q bringing us to then hundreds of stimulus checks all in the Allied Newsletter. The Allied Newsletter has the place for you to apply for these stimulus checks. 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alerts. Here's the YouTube alert. You go down the YouTube alert to you see the guy of the surfboard. Here he is. He ain't dancing on TikTok. You see the guy on the surfboard. You click the link, and it says View Posts, and it sends you right into the Allied Newsletter. You apply for all these incredible checks. Don't worry. I'm going to show you how you do this in just a second. We're going to go over every check one at a time in this recording. But let's go back into the breaking news we're dealing with right now. With a big week ahead, and it comes on the heels of really bad guidance in several regards that ended the week. If you missed it, it was a double whammy. First, Morgan Stanley reported on Friday, uh, or it was a Thursday, that... While you and I thought Black Friday was great for retailers, it reportedly was not, according to Morgan Stanley. They say that the retailers' receipts, their earnings, were actually down in November compared to the month of October and compared to the month of Halloween. It shows that they do not think that they did well at all in the month of November, despite cutting prices across the board. And they say that it's actually getting weaker in December right now. And this is exactly what a couple of companies are saying. They're saying December, it's a ghost town. Lulamon is now indicating that um, they're going to have big problems for the month of December in getting a consumer in the store and getting, uh, and getting some earnings. This is all bad for you because remember, the way we gauge this economy better than anything else on top of inflation, recession, and labor is corporate earnings. If corporations do not deliver the earnings, then what happens? 
they lay you off. If they lay you off, then what happens? Yeah, a lot of other things happen across the board. And that's why you need all these incredible stimulus checks. So let me just give you a preview of what's happening next week because there is going to be a lot. And we're going to see, so, and I told you this was a huge show tonight. Um, we have a lot of corporate earnings coming in next week. And those corporate earnings are on the heels of that really not good outlook from Lulamon. That Lulamon story was everywhere going into the weekend. Oracle reports corporate earnings, of course, the tech company. And that is on Monday. Eli Lilly, which of course is medical, reports on on Tuesday. Lema, Lenar reports on Wednesday. Um, and then a, uh, we have Darden Restaurants, which is very, very important for dining. Dining's having a lot of problems lately. We had Dave and Buster's bust last week. Not good at all. So Darden Restaurants reports on Thursday. Boy, folks. You got to get some stimulus checks. So let's get some stimulus checks. Let's do it right now. Let's get the first three of those stimulus checks, starting with check A. Check A is the wonderful check that Spelly got, Kimberly got, and you're going to get it as well. What is check A? Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 stimulus check. This was the first of those Joe Biden executive action stimulus checks. $6,500 to $12,000 stimulus check. Do you want a $12,000 stimulus check? Of course you do. How do you get it? Step one, you go onto the video, become a member. Join LA Light as the nearly 100 brand new members have done in the last 48 hours. Welcome brand new members. Join this channel. Get that membership newsletter from me to you Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific. Know your time zone. That's 10 o'clock on the East Coast. That's 9 o'clock in the Central Standard Time, like Missouri and Illinois. Go down that YouTube alerts till you see the click view post and go right into the newsletter. And that's where you apply for check A in the newsletter. But you're not done there yet. You're going to go to check B in the newsletter and apply for stimulus check B in the newsletter. $15,000, Now, check B is the check that's really helping people get lots and lots of months of checks. When we're talking about those 18 months of checks, a lot of this is coming from check B. Because viewers all the time are getting 18 months, $3,000 a month, five checks per month of stimulus checks. And a lot of that stemming, stemming from check B. Check B covers a lot of different subject matters. And viewers have been asking me, how, does it also cover rent? It does often also cover rent. It also covers um, non-renters like homeowners. It covers a lot of different wonderful things. So please go get that incredible check B. Now, why would you not become a member? Let's look at the success stories that viewers have had. We've had at least half a dozen viewers approximately get 18 months of stimulus checks, five stimulus checks per month. And here's one of them. Frank Mancuso, 18 months of check B for mortgage. All his utilities, that's four checks, so we're already at five. And then he also got utility, he also got high speed internet. There you go. That's six checks over 18 months. He got that in less than 30 days of becoming a member. Why would you not become a member? Do it right today. Now, in, in addition to check B, you want to get the wonderful check C, which is rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And I've been getting viewers this check C on this channel for now two and a half years. You're watching LA Light, America's number one most watched financial news network in America on this subject matter. Expanding dramatically, very quickly, with now three channels and three live shows, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. On LA Light 1, the original live show, LA Light Live, that airs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. On Channel 2, you have a band, brand new hit show called Stimulus Live. And on LA 3, you have Wall Street Live. And you may be watching one of those three shows right now. Go onto the video, become a member to any one of those three channels. Get that newsletter from me to you, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and apply for these incredible checks. Now, let's look at those incredible Check C success stories that viewers have gotten, because you deserve big checks. And these are where people are cleaning up. Here we go. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Well, get some Check Cs. Become a member. Join this channel right today. Congratulations from Nancy and Elizabeth and Richard. Here's some utilities. Do you want $15,000 from utilities? Well, go get some Check Cs. Become a member today. And that's what Mark's brother-in-law got. Same brother-in-law got a quarter million dollars over 10 years for SNAP. Here's Mark. Mark initially got $32,000 of stimulus checks from this channel as a member. But I showed Mark how to get more stimulus checks, and watch what happened. 
Mark went from $32,000 of stimulus checks to $50,000 of stimulus checks for this channel. And then he went for $50,000 of stimulus checks to $100,000 of stimulus checks to $166,000 of stimulus checks. Lorraine was at $105,000 of stimulus checks. She went to $150,000 of stimulus checks. It all starts by subscribing to this channel, number one, under the video. Number two, making sure you hit that little bell on the channel so you have all notifications set to all on and becoming a member, joining the channel, becoming part of the incredible Purple Power family where all these incredible checks are detailed. You're not going to see these checks featured anywhere else. Nowhere else in broadcast media, that's why LA is number one. I spend hours of hours of research going into every broadcast that I deliver to you, and I can't even count how many broadcasts there are on all three channels per day. Can you guess? Jump in the live chat. Guess how many videos that are uh, aired on, on three channels per day. I, I have no idea at this point. You know, I used to know, it was when I used to know when it was 14 shows per day. It ain't 14 shows per day anymore, folks, folks. It's clearly a lot more. I mean, here is just this show's research. Nine nine pages of notes for just eight, nine pages of notes just for this show's re, just so this show's broadcast. And with that, we're just getting started. Later in this recording, we're going to continue with these incredible FSC checks. We're going to go into checks E through K, the ones done from Congress. Then we're going to go into L and M, N and O, P and Q. Then we're going to go over to lifetime stimulus and inflation release stimulus checks. But let's go back into the breaking news that we're dealing with right now. So the breaking news you may wonder, and I'm certainly wondering as well, is that we got the PPI. The PPI is the sister or brother to the CPI. They're both inflationary numbers. So if we already know that the PPI went up on Friday, why are we, uh, why are we waiting with bated breath for the CPI? And if people are thinking that there's going to be a rally and that there's reportedly not a rally if the CPI numbers higher, then this just all seems sort of obvious and anticlimactic. In my opinion, it is. In my opinion, it is. I just, I, I see the quotes from the analysts and I just think to myself, are they, you know, betting against reality? Are they trying to talk a non-fact in, non into existence? I think they really are. The PPI, the producer price index, how much the wholesaler pays for the goods. If it went up, the CPI goes up. Well, it did go up, the PPI on Friday. So the CPI on Monday is clearly going to go up. If the CPI goes up on Monday, then what means? What happens with that? It means that you're not going to have a Santa Claus rally for this year, which would be a very rare occurrence. We've always had Santa Claus rallies, even in bear markets, which is a downward market, even recession, you've had bear markets. But the fact that a CPI higher than expected, who's expecting to be low? Those people. They're expecting non-events to keep on happening. And the more they do that, the more they're going to be pessimistic. And remember, we're coming off of yesterday's data, which was the worst week for the markets since September. They already have that right in the back of their brain. Then they have a C, then they have a PPI number that's higher than they expected, not as high as we expected. We expected it to be high. They're going to hear the CPI high on Monday. Then they can hear Jay Powell saying, you know what? Inflation has really not come down much in one year. It was 8% in December 2021, now 76 We have a long way to do work on this. Imagine you got to get it to 2% and you've not even moved it one percentage point in an entire year. So I think Wall Street is going to have a very, very rude awakening. And it's not going to be Santa Claus coming down the chimney tree. <laughs> it's not going to be Santa Claus coming down the chimney tree or eating your cookies while you're not looking. It's because they've been betting against the, the data and the data don't lie. In the big second half, we'll continue with the data with those incredible stimulus checks. We're going to go into those checks E through K. Then L and M, N and O, P and Q. Plus, we'll go over lifetime stimulus. We have a lot more stimulus checks to go over. Plus, I'll be answering your questions on air and be giving you more of my analysis of where the stimulus is going and where the market's going. It's a big, bold, beautiful evening's LA from the shores of San Marcos, California. We're just getting started. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as tonight's show on evening's LA continues from the shores of San Marcos, California, tonight. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. 
They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues in a big second half on the shores of Santa Monica, California. Big stimulus checks were passed by the President of the United States and Congress in the month of March, and they are huge. Those stimulus checks are about $300,000 of stimulus checks per person. And over this recording, we're going over those 300 different stimulus checks. Average payout, currently 18 months of monthly stimulus checks. Five stimulus checks per month on average, and about $3,000 of stimulus checks per month. That's for you if you're on SSI and SSDI. They are absolutely out of everywhere. These incredible stimulus checks are important. They are not for any particular group. They're just for people who make $75,000 less or $150,000 less. You must apply, and you need to move really quickly on these incredible stimulus checks. Again, these are fast stimulus checks paying out in about 48 hours, and they are a lot of incredible checks. Let's continue with these big, bold, beautiful checks now as we go into the big second half for the shores of Santa Monica, California. Good evening, and thank you for joining me on a big second half from tonight's show of LA Light. The latest details tonight when we're looking at those checks E through K are huge, great checks. And check E is a beautiful $7,500 stimulus check. Wow, that is check E. Then check F, a $4,000 stimulus check. Love it. Then check G, a beautiful, beautiful 30% off stimulus check. Then check H, a $2,000 stimulus check. Check I, a great, absolutely wonderful $8,000 stimulus check. Check J, $8,000 stimulus check. Check K, $14,000 stimulus check. Again, these are checks E through K. These stimulus checks, E through K, were passed by Congress, by bill, by law, back in March. Viewers have gotten these stimulus checks ever since. These are in addition to the Joe Biden executive action stimulus checks of A, B, and C. Now, since then, I have found you other stimulus checks, because that's my focus. Always find you more stimulus checks. Hours and hours of research go into every broadcast on this channel. That's why you want to become a member and subscribe. Let's go into the next stimulus checks. L. L is $100,000 on average of a loan it is free money for a brand new mortgage. And then M is $4,000 of stimulus check grant. N is a brand new computer. Do you want a brand new computer? Of course you do. Do you want a brand new tablet? Of course you do. Want a brand new laptop? Yes, you do. They are all stimulus N. Again, this is all in the membership newsletter. Go down to N in the membership newsletter. And that's where you apply to get this incredible stimulus N. Zero down payment, zero closing costs, no mortgage insurance. That is stimulus O. And then stimulus P and Q. P is the beautiful 3% refi on existing mortgage. And Q is $8,000 stimulus check. Love it. So let's recap these federal, federal FSC stimulus checks. They're big. You have a two-year recession, as I've been predicting, as the only American broadcaster since February this year a two-year recession starting in less than 30 days. Two years of financial problems is not six months of lockdown with COVID. This is a very long duration. So you need tens of thousands of dollars of stimulus checks. And we got them. On average, they're paying out about 18 months of about five checks per month, about $3,000 per month. And that is about 40, 50, 60, 80,000. But we've had a lot of viewers get a lot more. Dragon has gotten $170,000 of stimulus checks. Johnny has gotten uh, 20 friends and neighbors, a quarter million dollars. He got himself 80000 
and Yardi Mar Mar Mark, and we have a lot of other viewers who've gotten big sums of money far in excess of 100,000. But most viewers are getting about 50, 60, 70, 80,000 dollars of stimulus checks. What are these stimulus checks for? They're for the rent, the utilities, the mortgage, the home appliances, the home repairs, the car, the computer, the internet, a lot of wonderful stimulus checks. Fastest routing time, two days. Johnny started on Monday. By Wednesday, he had $45,000 of stimulus checks. By Friday, he continued to pounce, and what did he get? He got 15 applications in for stimulus checks. Half of the stimulus checks applications were rejected, half were approved, and he got seven applications approved, $80,000 of stimulus checks. The next week, he got mom, $50,000 of stimulus checks, dad, $50,000 of stimulus checks, and then he helped 20 friends and neighbors get a quarter million dollars of these incredible stimulus checks. You pounce and get all these incredible stimulus checks right tonight. Three steps. Go under this video, subscribe. Subscribe to all three channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. Number two, hit that bell at the front of this channel. Have all notifications set to all on so you don't miss a video. And number three, make sure you become a member. Go around this video, join this channel, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cast, you know, VIP. Where do I apply for these checks? In the newsletter. The newsletter is delivered from me to you Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. You go right down that alert. It sends you right into the newsletter, and you start applying for those checks in the newsletter with the exception of Check C, which tells you 12 places to call and 12 places to pounce across the board. And there you go. Now let's go into lifetime stimulus. You know, we had always thought j Powell was right. To Dyke, we know that he is right because we have those comments from Monahan at uh, Bank America. And he says that, yes, it's going to take a while to get the inflation down. It's going to take a while for this inflation to come down. And that's taming Jamie. And the issue is that now we know that if it's going to take into 2024 to get inflation down, that you're absolutely going to get two more raises of your benefits. You already got a first raise of your benefits, 5.9%. That's what you're currently having on your hand. Then on January of next year, you're going to get an 8.7% raise on top of your existing benefits. So 8.7 on top of your existing raise of 5.9. Then in January 2025, excuse me, 2024, you're going to have another raise, and then January 2025, you'll have another raise on top of that. It's absolutely incredible. Now, why this makes this great news even more so is that as your benefits go up, they never go down, and you'll have the largest shock of a generation by January of 2025, because every year it's going to keep on going up, but by 2025, the cost of living will be the cheapest of a generation. Wow. We had a lot of other breaking news that came in this week, and a lot of it got buried because there was so much happening. So let me make sure you have understanding of all that breaking news. Of course, you just saw the unemployment. So on Thursday, the unemployment numbers were released, and the new jobless claims number was fine. It was flat, 230,000. That's a fine number. 230, 220, 240, we're all fine with that. It's when it heads to 260, we're worried. That's new jobless claims number. The problem with that data, that data that day was the continuing jobless claims. These are people who, have, who were unemployed the week before and are still unemployed, and that number rose a lot. It, I think I have, I have it in front of me. I think it rose 65,000 people in one week. So it's hovering about 1.6, 1.7 million Americans are long-term unemployed. They remain unemployed last week. They'll be unemployed this week. That's a very, very troubling number because we still don't have the real bad news from those retailers coming in. And what is that bad news? So Morgan Stanley is now predicting that stocks will have a double dip percentage drop in 2020, early 2023, but they're also predicting something else. That when those companies, the retailers, report the core, the fourth quarter earnings starting in January 2023, they're going to say, November Black Friday didn't work. It didn't work. We did not have good numbers. December, we had nothing. And that is not going to be good. And what's going to happen is that store is going to lay off employees right away. They brought all those employees back to work when you came off of lockdown, you know, couldn't stop hiring people. Now they're going to stop hiring people. Now they're going to lay off people. 
there's a whole another analysis out there, which I'm not going to go into, about the hiring freezes, the hiring freezes and the layoffs. Some of those people have not gone on have not gone on unemployment yet. So the unemployment number could go much higher because they're still trying to find a job. And when they don't, then they ask for unemployment. But more importantly, when those corporations really show in January, uh, just 30 days from now, that they did not deliver good earnings this holiday season, they're going to lay off people. And that's really where things start to unravel very quickly. So you see sort of this dynamic. Let me give you all the data together right now, and then let's do all the analysis together right now. First, the data. We have data for credit card use. We have data for consumer spending. We have data for a consumer um, budgeting. And then we're going to go over the analysis. Okay, it's the data for the consumer uh, credit card use, highest of a generation. Credit card use by consumers is out of control, with the vast majority of it accounting for travel and leisure, airlines and hotels. Number two, we also know the consumer savings is the lowest of generation. Number three, when you look at spending compared to last year, it's up 10%, says Jamie Time at JP Morgan Chase. Number three, um, the credit card debt levels have never been seen at these levels ever, says the head of Bank of America and also American Express. Next, you do not have salaries going up that much to account for all this incredible spending. Salaries are only up about less than 1% uh, on a monthly basis. So then it's not going up for people to account for all this incredible spending. Uh, so that's the data. So now let's go into the analysis. The analysis is the worrisome that Americans will have a rude awakening in several fronts coming in February or January. Last night in our brand new hit show, LA Late Night, I asked the viewers in the live chat, everyone from uh, from Shirley to Ann to Crayola to Ionis um, to Bob, I asked them, when do you think the real wake-up call for Americans will happen? Ionis said January. I agree with Ionis. So wake-up call, what do I mean? Number one, you have credit card debt and you don't have savings to pay for the credit card debt. We have the latest comments that came in from Jamie Dimon, J.P. Morgan Chase this week that says the savings accounts will be gone, used up by early 2023. However, the head of J.P. Uh, excuse me, KPMG Economist, she said, no, Dimon's analysis is based upon middle class individuals' bank accounts. I'm looking at low income households' bank accounts. They're already gone. Those savings accounts are already gone. So saving accounts are either gone now or they're going away or they're, they're used up by early next year, January, February, March. What also happens at the same time? The corporations did not have earnings in December or November, and you're certainly not going to be buying in January. So they're going to start laying off people. And as you get laid off, what's going to happen? There's not going to be a replacement job because the job creations numbers are not good either. We also have the problem of inflation. And I paused because I was about to, you know, <laughs> spout out an expletive. Those grocery stores, their shipping costs, we now learned this week, their shipping costs are the lowest of nearly the two years. Yeah, freight, barge, transportation is the cheapest to get the fruits and vegetables in the grocery stores than ever before in the last year and a half. And yet, the vegetables and the fruits in the latest PPI was up 30 three percent compared to last year they're gouging you they're gouging you they're gouging me they're gouging all of us there is no explanation there's no supply chain disruption anymore there is no expan there's no reason that they need to raise their prices 33 percent year to date they're not paying 33 percent more year to date that's why the grocery outlets are making fortunes it's not the oil companies it's the grocery companies that are the evil empire currently they are really gouging americans because the freight and fuel costs are very, very low compared to just a few months ago. Their prices of goods have not come down at all. So what happens come January, February, March? Your accounts, your savings accounts are dwindling or, or, or non-viewers' savings accounts are dwindling. And then the vegetables are still going up. This is part of the problem. And as this problem continues to grow, what's also going to grow? Sentiment's going to fall. Because people are going to start to see the markets starting to go down very quickly, very severely. The rallying up the markets in September was a little bit of a pep chat, sort of like a pep rally. Oh, the stocks are up. Oh, good. You know, we're fine. You know, stocks are up. Okay, we're okay. Just a little parts of this economy are not doing well like housing. No. When people start to see so many different 
facets of the economy going down, then they realize it's not just the housing market. It's not just the auto, auto market that is down or imploding. It's going to be so many different facets. And that's what we already know. I've been teaching that on the show for a while. I've been teaching all this year that the recession when it hits in January 2023 will not be the recession of the prior two times in this U.S. economy. We had a recession in 2000. We had a recession in 2008. Neither of them were broad recessions. The 2001 was for the housing market, the savings and loan debacle. And the 2008 was for the housing and also the technology, the tech bubble. So this time around, it impacts everyone. And so here's my commentary tonight. My commentary tonight is that in the last three days, I saw uh, a very uh, a very good YouTuber. She had delivered an, a resounding 2.1 million views in the last seven days for a video about $150 more per month for SNAP benefits. That's all the video is about, $150 more, $120 more for SNAP benefits. That's all I talked about. Can you imagine that over a million people got ecstatic that they're getting $100 more? Now, there's two ways to view that. One, you could say, well, that shows that people really need, that they really need $100. The other way you and I are going to view it, and it's the same as Iona said in that live show last night, is that people that are doing this scraping and scraping $100, $200, $150, $50, $40, they are really in for a rude awakening, as Iona said last night. These people think that this is going to be like a six-month lockdown. You can just scrape $100 and scrape $500 and scrape $400 and you'll be fine. No, you won't. This scraping of $100 here and $50 there and $20 there and $40 there, $1,000 stimulus checks there and $1,200, $2,000 stimulus checks, you're going to be in real bad trouble if you do that. That's why my viewers, you are not doing that. I've been teaching this all this year along. I said a $1,000 stimulus check ain't, ain't going to carry you through a two-year recession. It's two years. Did a thousand dollar stimulus check carry you through six month reset through a six month lockdown of COVID? Of course it did not. So would twelve hundred dollars carry you through a two year recession? Of course it will not. And that why that is why you cannot spend time focusing on small sums of money. You have to focus time on big sums of money. Time is the essence. We're four weeks away from January, or less than four weeks away from January. Time is the essence. You need to be getting tens of thousands of dollars of stimulus checks right now. You need to spend every waking hour you have with applying for stimulus checks, becoming a member, getting stimulus checks right now. You don't spend 30 seconds on something else. One of the comments that I used, I think it was... I think it was on the comments of the of videos of this channel, or maybe it was on Facebook. And uh, a couple of the viewers on the live show love this. There's always that troll that says something like, uh, Congress doesn't, and Congress won't, and Congress this. And I said, and one of the comments I was using to respond to that type of troll behavior was, you know what? It just took you two minutes, four minutes to write that absurd nonsense post on Facebook. In those four minutes you just used up in running nonsense, you could have been applying for a stimulus check. Imagine how if you time manage and spend every waking hour of your existence between now and late January, listen to the videos of this channel, becoming a member, applying for stimulus checks. Imagine how much better you are. So I really want you to micromanage your time in the next 30, 60 days. I want you to spend more time watching more videos. Start with Morning Daylight every day on air at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, live on air. Then jump into live, sh uh, jump into a holidays LA at noontime. Watch an afternoon show. You got four to choose from. You got the one o'clock, the two o'clock, the three o'clock. You got three to choose from. <laughs> then jump into Evening's LA every night at five o'clock. It's the brand new breaking show every night, like this one. You can also watch it on LA Late Live, which is at about six o'clock Pacific Standard Time on Channel One. Also, you can also watch it on Stimulus Live on Channel 2, which you may be watching right now, or Wall Street Live on Channel 3. Know exactly where everything is, because this is like tracking a storm. If you live in a storm belt region, if you live in a hurricane alley, you track a storm. You know if the storm is trending more towards the Gulf or moving long more towards the Atlantic, you track the storm. We need to track the economy together. We need to track where things are. And this is getting really close. It's 30 days away from the storm touching on land. 
but I'm going to navigate with you because I care about you and we care about one another. And we're going to get through this together. You're going to do a great job. You're absolutely going to do a wonderful job. Go out of this video, become a member, be part of this wonderful family, this wonderful Purple Power family where people help one another and get through it across the board. And with that, join me throughout the night. I will be looking for you and I'll be answering your questions on LA Late Night as well at 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. For the shores of Santa Monica, California, stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful night, and stay with our life for more.